Hi, welcome to the Craft Channel. My name's Corinne Brad, and today I've got a project for you, which, even if you're a novice quilter, is purely made up from treble stitches, or if you're in the States, they're double stitches. And they're just very tactile, squishy fidget balls, if you like. Kind of therapeutic balls that look like little tiny brains. Um, and they're great for kids, you know, especially if you've got kids that like fidget toys and need something to help them concentrate. Um, I would imagine, again, people with dementia would find these quite comforting. I find this quite comforting just to sit and play with. Um, pet toys as well. If you've got a, a pet that's not particularly destructive, cats will love these. My rescue collie um, doesn't like balls. I think he's had things thrown at him in the past. But actually, because this is so soft, he likes to mouth it. And the other thing is also, you can have a, a squishy fidget ball that will also convert into a scrunchie for your hair. And that's simply made by working your first round of dub, uh, trebles onto a ring of elastic. And then when you want to turn it into a ball again, just give it a twist around and it squishes itself back up. So I'm going to work this with a 4mm hook and some of Yarn & Colours epic weight yarn so that you can see what I'm doing. And then start with a slip knot and do yourself a chain of about six to make your initial ring. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Join back into your first chain with a slip knot to join it into a ring. One, two. And then do two chains to bring you up to working height. And then what we're going to do is we're going to work treble stitches into this ring and we're going to squeeze as many as we possibly can into the ring. So for a treble, yarn over the hook, into the ring, grab the yarn and bring it back out, yarn over the hook, through two loops, yarn over the hook, through two loops. Again, yarn over the hook into the ring, grab the yarn and bring it out, yarn over the hook, through two loops, and through two loops. So just keep working your treble crochet into that ring, and that's why I've done a ring of six rather than the normal ring of four, because I want to get a lot of stitches in here. And it just makes life easier if you've got more space to do it. So I'm going to continue doing this, and if you come back to me in a minute, I'm going to show you how I've squished up those stitches and filled the ring. So I'm just going to pull them round. Oh, I can get another couple in there, I reckon. Like so few projects, this is one of those projects that more is better. That should be enough. And I'm just going to join this back to the first two chains that I did with a slip stitch. So in effect, I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, about 22 treble crochet in that ring. Now that's way too many for any project that you're doing in the round. That's going to be way too many for most of you because it, it is already starting to ripple a little bit. But that's what we want because what we're going to do now is do another two chains to bring it up to working height. And then where we slip stitched into that first chain, I'm going to work three treble stitches into that same stitch. So when you count the two chains that I did to start with, that's four trebles in one stitch. And then we work four trebles into every stitch we've got there. So if I've got 22 stitches in this ring already and I'm working four trebles in each stitch, I'm going to end up with 88 stitches around the outside of my ring. And it will really start to ripple I'm just coming to the last couple of stitches of my first round and I'm working four trebles 
into each stitch and you can see how beautifully the edge of my circle is rippling. So if you're making a doily, this really isn't what you want, but if you're making one of these tactile balls, this is exactly what you want. So I'm just going to do this last set of four and then join to the top of that initial chain with a slip stitch. So there you go, you've already got your rippling flower. And then if I had 88 stitches, let's round that up to 90 stitches to start with uh, in this second row. I'm now going to put another four trebles in each of those stitches. So that's going to make about 360 stitches on the outside ring of your squishy ball. And when you bear in mind the diameter of your ball is only going to be, what, four or five centimetres wide, that 356, 360 stitches is far too many, which is what puts all the ripples in the balls that you have here. Now, Obviously, I'm not going to sit here and crochet 360 trebles for you to watch. Because if you've got any sense, you'll actually be getting your hook and your yarn out to making one of these yourself, rather than just watching me. Because essentially, it is just a repeating pattern. The whole time, you're just working four trebles into every stitch of the previous round. And it buckles and puckers and ripples so well. Let me just show you here on here. You can see where, hopefully you can see where, the centre of the ball was. And then there's, it's just rippled out from there. In all honesty, it's one of those things, like people talk about mindfulness while you're crafting. This is really mindlessness because it's the kind of project that you can do while you're, I don't know, watching your latest box set on Netflix and you sort of need to concentrate on the plot but you also need to concentrate on your stitching, but you can put the, the crochet stitching to the back of your mind because you're only ever counting to four at any one time. And uh, not only is it therapeutic for the recipient as a fidget ball or a stress ball or a toy for the dog, it's also quite therapeutic to you as a crochet because you can just relax and work into it. And there's, as I say, once you start making these, you think, well, actually, I could do this with it and I can do that with it. So a scrunchie is a great idea. I mean, to be honest, if you're a garment maker, you could add that kind of puff cuff to a cardigan that you're making in exactly the same way. You could put them together and have a scarf. You can use them as a pom-pom on a hat instead of a traditional cut thread pom-pom. Um, make them out of 100% cotton. You can have them as um, scrubbies for the bath, wash mitts. Anything you like, really. But really, just make them out of something soft and something tactile so you can enjoy fidgeting with them as much as you enjoy making them. Hope you like that. I hope you found that really, really easy. And uh, keep an eye on us because we have lots of other videos coming up. Not just crochet and knitting, but card making, sewing clay, paint, all kinds of things. If you subscribe, we can let you know when we've got a new one coming up, so you'll get a little notification come up. In the meantime, I'm glad you've watched us. I'm glad you're still here, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.